A very good evening to you all. Little signs of spring in the next few days. Feeling very wintry with notable rainfall leading to a risk of flooding. It will be cold enough for some heavy, significant snow Thursday night into Friday morning. And added to this, feeling very cold and marked wind chill with strong and gusty winds at times. We've had some very cold air across us in the last few days. That's very much the case as the week goes on, as you can see from the bluey colours on the map. As for the south and the west, this system rolling in from the near Atlantic will bring relatively mild air. But as this system clashes with much colder air, expect there to be some significant snow. This is the way things are looking Thursday night into Friday. That system bringing an awful lot of rain into the early hours of Friday. And as that rain bumps into the colder air, expect the notable snow to coincide with Friday morning's rush hour in all of these areas. As for tonight, temperatures falling away like recent nights, frosty and icy. I think you have the picture by now. Further sleet and snow for the far north and northeast of Scotland, topping up the snow depths here. We'll see minus two, minus three in the towns and the cities, even lower out in the countryside. And to the southwest, a slight change, thickening cloud, bringing the first hints of some rain come dawn. And into tomorrow morning, that rain makes some slow progress into the rest of the West Country and southern Wales, but really will stall through much of the day. Ahead of this, plenty of cloud for many locations, thickening up all the while. And then brighter skies hanging on through parts of Scotland and maybe Cumbria. Just a few wintry snow flurries into eastern Scotland. And for all of the West, gusty winds with gales and exposure. A chilly feel to the day. Even colder if you factor in those bitter easterly winds, they'll add a significant wind chill.